What is a derivative? I'll give you the straightforward answer. A derivative is a function that gives you the slope of another function at any point. If you plug a point x into a derivative function, then it'll return the slope of the function at that point. Let's find a derivative function. Since a derivative function provides the slope of a function at all points, let's look at how we calculate the slope at just a single point, and then we'll work our way forward. Let's take f of x equals x squared as an example. Let's say we want to know the slope at the point 1, 1. How can we know what the slope is? We only know how to find the slope for straight lines. We can find the slope of a straight line by plugging two points from the line into the slope formula. But this is a curve, so that would only give us the slope of the line going through two points on the curve. Fortunately, we can find a straight line on this graph to calculate the slope with. There's a straight line at the point 1, 1. Can't see it? Let's get a closer look. There's a straight line after all. We can just plug another one of these points into the slope formula to get the slope. But why did the graph look straight when we zoomed in? It's pretty much the same reason why the Earth's horizon looks flat from the surface. The closer you get to a curve or a circle, the flatter it looks. That's because if it looked curvy, it would quickly turn a different direction when we zoom out. So now we know that the slope is nearly constant when we zoom in, we know that we can just use a nearby point. Technically, the slope is only exactly flat when you zoom in infinitely far, so we'll want to use the closest possible nearby point. That point will be approximately zero horizontal distance from the first point, but it's technically a non-zero distance away since it's a separate point. Let's call that distance h. So now we know what our second point is, we can find the slope with the slope formula. Slope is equal to rise over run, or vertical distance divided by horizontal distance. The vertical distance is y2 minus y1, or f of x2 minus f of x1 f of x2 is equal to 1 plus h squared, and f of x1 is equal to 1 squared. So the vertical distance is equal to 1 plus h squared minus 1 squared. Similarly, the horizontal distance is x2 minus x1, or 1 plus h minus 1. So the slope is equal to 1 plus h squared minus 1 squared, divided by 1 plus h minus 1. Simplifying, The slope is 2h plus h squared divided by h. Since h is a non-zero constant, we can cancel h and we get a slope of 2 plus h. Since h is an infinitely small positive number, we can ignore h and simply say that the slope is 2. So we see that the slope of x squared is 2 at the point 1, 1. In general, we can always use the two coordinates x f of x and x plus h f of x plus h to calculate the slope. The vertical displacement between those two points is always equal to f of x plus h minus f of x. The horizontal displacement is always equal to x plus h minus x, or just h. So the slope of any function at a point x is always equal to f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. This is the textbook definition of the derivative. You'll usually see it written like this in books. You can find the derivative at any point on a function by plugging it into this formula, as long as you cancel the h. If you plug in an unevaluated function, you can even simplify it to get a new function called the first derivative, a function that gives you the slope of your function at any point x. So before you get confused, here's an exercise. Go ahead and find the first derivative of x squared. That's the function that describes the slope as a function of x. Once you've found the first derivative, calculate the slope of x squared at the point x equals 1 half. What is it? Write your answer in the comments below.
If you found this video helpful, feel free to support me by clicking the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.